Hello, comrades, and welcome to another episode of Loco Dome. This is our season one of the game. This is episode, I think, 12, if I uh, remember correctly. I was just putting up some previous episodes today, 9 and 10, so 11 and 12, that makes sense. I have some folks who you've met before. I'm your host, Ellis, otherwise known as the Admiral. No technical advisor today. But before we get into the game proper, of course, I will mention that you can play this game yourselves using our trading cards, which you can buy at theironhorseman.com. It's linked in the description. Now let me introduce the bracket. Oops, right there. So this is what the bracket looks like right now. This is the winner's bracket. We are playing match number 14 right here. The loser's bracket, on the other hand, looks like this. Uh, this is the match you would have seen yesterday as of this uh, posting. And uh, this match and this match are our bottlenecks. They need to get done so we can do more of these Losers Bracket matches and figure out who is going to face the winner of this match in the final rounds here. So, with that uh, out of the way, our contestants are Mopak and AJ, and I will introduce their rosters very briefly, as you have seen them before. Uh, Mopax is all Mopac, starting with, uh, I don't actually have these guys in the right order. Uh, 2102 is the top of your list, right? Yeah. So this is the N75, that's right? I'm, yes. I'm remembering how this worked, uh, because I learned a lot about the Missouri Pacific over the course of, uh, this, this bracket, this roster. Part of the reason I like the themed rosters is a, it, it usually gives a window into something that I haven't seen before, locomotives that I'm not familiar with. And all of these Mopac engines, 2102 right here, a big old northern, 6000, a uh, Pacific type. These two were ones I was unfamiliar with. Uh, 124 as well, although I had seen photos of, photos of what's left of this thing. Uh, mm. This is the one that's sticking out of a building, right? Yes, it's... Right. It is. <laughs> yeah, that'll always stick in my memory. Uh, then you also have 5507, <laughs> which is a very cute little Atlantic. Um, this thing is oil-fired? Uh, the Atlantic, yeah. Okay. I was making sure because, uh, actually, in I think the very last match that aired, uh, there was a, a similar locomotive that looked oil-fired but was not. Or at least the tender was... The tender in the photo was not the one in the stat sheet. Um... Yeah, no, they just dropped a big oil can in the tender. Yeah, and then you have, uh, what is this? St. Louis, Iron Mountain, and Southern? Yeah, that's right. Slims. Slims number 635. Uh, Slim. Slim Shady. Slim, sure. Well, it does at least have He's, a roof over it. does have a roof over it. Um, Slim Shaded. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, AJ, let's go through your roster really quick to reacquaint the people, and also, of course, yep. your competitor. Um, starting off with the Chinook, uh, an engine that punches above its weight, a yep. relatively fierce competitor. I feel like it's been talked up and talked down. I still like it. Um, yeah. Now, I actually don't know if these are all in the right order. Is your next Locomotive 101? Yeah. Okay, this My is... My photos I sent in order, if that's what you're going off. Of. Okay, yeah, just making sure. And, and sometimes I end up mixing them up when I'm organizing my desktop here. But uh, 101 yeah. is a... Uh, what is the road name of this thing? Uh, currently, uh, it runs on uh, Hillcrest Collieries, which is, I think it's a... I guess it's a tourist railroad in Moose Jaw. Okay. But originally, it was uh, P&K number 5, which is... It was something uh, potassium and, or potash. Oh, Okay. Yeah, so yeah. this is a little uh, 440 tank engine. Then you have a 1392, which is a trading card. Uh, yep. Which is a D10? Uh, it's the D... Oh, it's the weird one. I think it's a 10. Or it's yeah. a 6. D D6? Or G6? It's the or... HD... Oh, H6, H6 D slash D. Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't know. The, the, the classification for these is all wonky. Then you have this mountain type, Terrible. which I know was uh, quite a bit of thing last time it was brought up. And then yeah, um, there's a reason I don't bring it up. Yeah, and then finally you have the effectively the star of your lineup, the uh, T1C yeah. Selkirk. I'm still yes. uh, 
last time, I'm, I'm going to go back and look at the bracket really quick just to make sure somebody is still in it. Yeah, so uh, as of right now, and with the matches that have been released to the public by this recording, Fort is still here. So if you lose yeah. today, you will be going down into the loser's bracket in spot number 14. You will have to face either Bender or Mew or Horizon or Bryson. Uh, the viewers can see a little bit more specific than that. Um, but if Fort makes it through his next couple rounds, we will have the Selkirk versus the Super Selkirk if um, all that comes mm. to pass. One of the things I like about this double elimination bracket setup is that you've got... We have so many different opportunities for unusual matchups to occur. Um, yeah. Although some of them have been more exciting than others. I hope that the rule changes in future and also just a better understanding of what makes a good lineup and good gameplay uh, with the experience learned from this uh, first season will inform future events and uh, make yeah. the play a little bit finer. Anyway, it's time to flip a coin. Mopak, your heads, AJ, your tails. Coins in the air, and it comes down on heads. Mopak, right. what would you like to start calling with? Uh, let's throw out the A79. The A79, that's the Atlantic, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Also, I think I've won every single coin toss I've been in in this bracket. Well, that's good. Well, how many matches have you had? You've had, uh... Oh, this would be the third one. This is your third. Well, you know, not impossible, certainly. Uh, just a decently good streak. AJ, what would you like to respond to 5507 with? Uh, do I want to go for an even match or something different? Uh, let's pull out Chinook. Okay, yeah, bring out the Chinook first. Mm -hmm. Uh, 5507 versus 3001. Mopak, what is your first stat call? Let's do number in class. <laughs> number in class. Ugh, five. Forty. Forty. Yeah. Okay, that was a confident call. Mopak? Number built. Five. Forty. Like Did you uh, do any film things. review perchance? Or do you just have a good feeling about the uh, beer cans? A little bit of both. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, Mopac, yeah, third stack. I know, there's, but there's no way there was 40 of them, so. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's... Hmm. Calling out from Duff of Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> uh, when I tried to make a lineup of all beer cans, that's what I named it. What was your uh, stack called, Mopak? Ah, uh, let's go driver wheelbase. Driver wheelbase. Uh, seven point six seven. Well, that's seven point five. Okay. Wow, that, that was close? that was a close run thing. You both have two sets Very of drivers, close. Mopak. Yeah. Let's go engine wheelbase. Uh, thirty-seven point two five. Uh, twenty-eight point two five. Four nothing, Mopak. Uh, let's go wheelbase ratio. Wheelbase ratio. Zero point two one. Uh, zero point two seven. All right, five nothing. Let's... I do oh. always tend to say that uh, trying to bring out a peer opponent at the very beginning is usually the way to play. Keep your opponent off balance, but. Mopak definitely seems to uh, have found the weaknesses of Chinook. Yeah. Let's let's try minimum weight of rail. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's uh, 101 pounds per yard. Oh, wow. <laughs> 100 pounds. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I, 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 did cool. a close one. I clicked the button that because is... I went, oh, yeah, I remember Chinook is, is big, and at 5507, there's no way. But one pound off? Yikes. I, I don't know what they put in these things. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to The boy should made a lead or something. Uh, Alright, anyway, next stack call. Let's. That makes me less confident. <laughs> Do. Oh, now let's. Let's do tender water capacity. Oh, 
Okay, tender water. Tender water capacity, uh, 8,400 gallons. Oh, 9,000 gallons. All right, that, that I don't understand. Anyway. Hmm. Although earlier today I made a joke about putting the oil above the water so that the tender was less top-heavy because of densities hmm. and all that. I wonder if that's just what they did here. I have, I have no clue. I think they literally just dropped that uh, oil can in there, or oil tank. Who knows? Uh, got some diagrams in here. If only we had a technical advisor. Mopac? Only. Oh, uh, wait on drivers. Wait on drivers. Uh, 121,000 pounds. Oh, okay. 119,800 pounds. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Why are they so similar? <laughs> they are extremely similar, despite being different wheel arrangements, but... I mean, similar well, we're purposes. Only off by, we're only off by a trailer. Yeah. A trailing wheel. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Stew engine weight. Engine weight. 263,000 pounds. Okay, 198,600 pounds. Okay, we finally found a difference of more than six. <laughs> yeah. There we go. 9-0. Mopac. Oh. Someone else don't do that. Go. Let's go overall wheelbase. Overall mm. wheelbase. Overall wheelbase. Uh... Seven, uh, 70.73. Wow, 59.71. Okay. I thought it'd be shorter than that. <laughs> no, that's your cans are long. Really, very that's, long. That's why I, the tender stat threw me for a loop, because I was like, there's no way. Uh, yeah, like, my tender's a lot larger than yours physically. How do you have more water capacity? <laughs> Maybe it's taller. It's definitely not. <laughs> yeah, no, my tender's huge. <laughs> Hey, no one else. Ten nothing. Mopac. Mm -hmm. For what it's worth, I think this early lead is going to be crucial. I was talking with Tyler earlier, and we both sort of agreed where our money was. And I said, uh, well, a lot of this might come down to who wins the toss. Yeah. Is... AJ scares me. AJ really scares me. <laughs> Well, the Hi, timer should also you. scare you. What's your stat call? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. High, high pressure cylinders. High pressure cylinders. High pressure cylinders. Where do you do, do? Let me vamp, man. <laughs> 17.25 <laughs> <laughs> times 28. Uh, yeah, 21 by 26. Do okay, let's do math. math. Royale tools, please. Math. Uh, Unless you already have that written down somewhere, uh, please enter your diameter stroke and number of cylinders, of which you both have two. Oh, it's down here. Okay. Allegedly. I I'm fairly confident you both have two. <laughs> At least uh, yeah, we've seen you in the game before. Two. All right, and yeah. that works out yeah. about as close as I figured it was going to. Uh, Eighteen thousand cubic inches for uh, Mopac and thirteen thousand for AJ. Uh, so the point, of course, goes oh. to Mopac. Only 17 and a quarter? They are a little bitty cylinders. Little bitty yeah. things. It's mm. interesting when you watch some of these numbers roll in and you start to figure out how that informs other stats or other things about the locomotive that has been, <laughs> have been weirding me out for the last couple of matches. <laughs> For the audience, I am still sick, so if I start, you know, dying, uh, that's why. Mopac? Let's go tubes. Tubes, okay. Tubes, um, 47 at 2 and a quarter. Uh, okay, 202 at 2. Okay, uh, 12 to nothing. This uh, this twelve points has been like walking across a minefield. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah. See, and if I didn't have the timer, it would have taken twice as long. 
I know. I don't. I don't know what to pick. I don't know either. It's a less than perfect situation to be in. I'll say that much. Come on, keep going down the heating ability. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> um, <laughs> lot. Yeah, the flu tube length. Flu tube length. Blue tube length, uh, eighteen point nine. Ah, there it is, sixteen point oh one. Okay, yes. and the first point in favor of the Chinook and AJ's team yeah, the, to battle for Alberta. Yeah, the Can the Canadians are known for having like uh, antimatter space in their things for tube lengths. Well, yeah. Conversely, Missouri Pacific is apparently known for antimatter space in the tender now. So yeah, <laughs> you know, so six and one half dozen of the other. Yay, I'm calling finally. Um, and I'm probably going to throw it right back under. Let's see, uh, driver diameter. 79. 80. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I expected that. Ooh, you know what just crossed my mind? Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, I hope I remember this in the future when somebody asks me, but I don't want to give it away right now. There was a 1200 IQ play that Mopac could have pulled to get out of the situation he was in. Anyway. If, I, uh, if, if, if a brave commenter figures it out and says so, uh, like... You mean you, Hemlock? You, you get a gold star. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably Hemlock, but maybe somebody else. There, there are maybe one or two other people that watch these. Uh, <laughs> AJ, what was your stack call again? Boiler pressure. Boiler pressure. A cool 200 pounds. 300 PSI. Okay, let me catch up on the points giving. Three, two, twelve. AJ. Uh, ooh. Let's go with mm, superheating surface. Superheating surface. Five hundred and four square feet. <laughs> one thousand one hundred square feet. Yeah. Okay. Four to twelve. Uh, let's go mm, try to find you had more tubes than me which means your evaporative heating surface is probably higher <laughs> oh um that's where I uh firebox area 238 square feet no what 230, 232 square feet wow a 13 to 4 what? Dude. What? Down, what? I was down by six. Why are why is your firebox so small? You have four trailing axles. That's man. All okay. with the flues or the like. I didn't I didn't know that it was gonna get flipped over like that. I thought we were all set. Uh Mopac, what is yours next stat call then? Good question. <laughs> I think I'm I'm trying to think of anything that you might be able to win. And I can think of maybe one thing. Maybe well, two everything things. is a little close. Mm. Actually no, I can think of like five things. I take that back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Let's do <laughs> Hmm, yum. Let's do tender fuel capacity. Tender fuel capacity. I think you screwed up because you said you're oil. I don't think Mopac screwed up at all. This was the IQ. This was the play I was talking okay, about. Okay, well, uh, 12, 12 tons. Well, AJ, do you have anything that's fired by oil? I do. Switch to it. All right. Uh, hello, Selkirk. Okay, never mind. Would have backfired <laughs> yeah, anyway. Well, I forget. Yeah, what uh, were you saying about IQ I play? I was thinking, uh, I was thinking it forced you to switch, but then I wasn't considering the fact that you would then win. Uh, I only have one... Oh, yeah, no, I was hoping it would yeah. end up with somebody else. Uh, or, well, I wasn't really thinking of the complete consequences of the actions. Yeah. But, okay, well, what is my, your uh, fuel capacity? My leaders is 4,920. It's a lot closer than I thought, 4,250. Yeah. And I'm now calling with the Selkirk. Okay, you are now calling with the Selkirk. Let me flip that over there. So yeah, forget what I said about the IQ. Uh, I am <laughs> impulsive and dumb, and I don't play this game. I just commentate it. Uh, Alright, let's go with... Let's see, where's the funny ones I can call? 
Uh, oh yeah, attractive effort. Twenty four thousand six hundred seventy four pounds. Seventy six thousand nine hundred and five. I believe that is the second most powerful locomotive in the competition, yeah. behind the Super Selkirk. Yeah, behind the other Selkirk. Uh, what's your booster pounds? Believe it or not, I actually do have one, but oh, it wow. is only nine thousand pounds. Twelve thousand pounds. That would have been a really, really funny upset. Okay, we have markers on the board now. Oh, shoot. Uh, factor of adhesion. Uh, yeah, I'll keep taking this. Uh, 4.86. 4.03. Okay, pretty good. 8 to 13. Um, blues. Blues. You know, I'm going to block. With? The N75. Okay, what are the flues on the N75? 193 at three and a half. 196 at three and a half. Wow. <laughs> All right, it's nine. Three flues. Three and a half is a strange. I, I, actually, no, I take that back. It's it's a relatively normal bottom end flu size. That's uh, really big. <laughs> All right, so firebox area has been called. I just saw a lot of let's, fives last time. Let's go with great area. Great area. Great area, 88.3 square feet. 93.5 square feet. Okay. Close, oh, but no cigar. 10 to 13. Uh, hmm. can, I ask a, can I ask a question about how locomotives work real quick before I call this one? Sure, if it takes less than 60 seconds. Yeah. Uh, do flues count towards uh, heating surface? Flues are... I know tubes do. Flues generally point towards your superheating surface, but also, I believe, towards your evaporative... I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know okay. how they calculate that out, but I know they are directly related to your superheating surface, if nothing else. Okay. Uh, so let's call... Let's call combined heating surface. Combined. Combined heating surface. Right. It would be 6,777. Uh, 7,086. The reason I got a little confused is because we've seen locomotives come in with, like, a handful of tubes, but still a very high evaporative heating surface. So I think there's, yeah. uh, you know, it's less than one-to-one -one for tubes and evaporative surface yeah. and flues and uh, superheating surface. Anyway, 11 to 13. Uh, let's go. Board is starting to look a little full. Let's go uh, Robert Lamasena's power call. All right. Uh, 22,075. That's higher than I thought it would be. Uh, 26,648. All right, 12 to 13. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's go same as above for superheater. Uh, 28,477. Uh, 34,375. Okay. Uh, 13 to uh, 13. We have it. We have, it's tied up now. Uh, same as above, but sub firebox for great. Uh, one fifty six oh ninety. Wait, one. A hundred and fifty six thousand and ninety. Holy, one hundred fifty one thousand four hundred seventy two. Whoa! My, Alrighty then. My five thousand. It's back in the hands of Mopac. Fourteen to thirteen. My great area was larger than yours. Why did that happen? Uh, how? I, I, Fire, did hmm. you guys do firebox area? Uh, yeah. yes, but not with locos. Okay, well that there might be something hidden in those numbers then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say how I dumb I feel call. for earlier when I was like twelve hundred IQ play. You know, don't let me forget <laughs> yeah. that. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, feel free to make fun of me because that was fantastic. Yeah, twelve hundred IQ play. <laughs> twelve hundred oh, IQ yeah, play just hand it away. A locomotive. <laughs> Well, I had forgotten I which one of your locomotives was oil fired, and I didn't think it was the Selkirk. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, stack call from OPEC. Stack call from OPEC. Good question. Good question. Valve gear. Valve gear. Uh, Wally. Wally. Okay, uh, AJ, you have the opportunity to swap to attempt to break the tie. Would you like to? No. Mopac, you must swap to attempt to break the tie. What'll it be? Uh, I guess the C63. 
The C63, which is number 124. The Barn Boy. Uh, what is the valve gear on 124? Baker. Baker. Yeah. And that point is for you. 15 to 13. That's the only research I did on any of your locomotives. Is I looked at the photos to see if I can remember how to figure out which valve gear was which. <laughs> and I was right. This is a banana locomotive. It, it's true. Yeah. We have no bananas today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 15 to 13. Mopac, you're calling against the, the CP Selkirk. Let's go tender loaded weight. Tender loaded weight. Uh, tender loaded weight. Uh, two hundred eighty-four thousand pounds. One hundred twenty-four thousand pounds. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen to thirteen. Let's go total locomotive weight. Uh, I'd like to use a block. Two. Uh, I'm gonna block. I'm gonna switch to Hillcrest 101. Okay, Hillcrest 101. Let me mark down where we're at. That's uh, 29 stats call. Before this one, you said, and I'll clear that, and I will say, what was that uh, total locomotive weight? Oh yeah, uh, 219,000 pounds. Uh, 22,000 pounds. Okay. Uh, that point. Is hey, I think you're missing a digit. Back in the hands of no. AJ. Yeah, it's the zero no, at the front. Is... <laughs> yeah, uh, fourteen to sixteen. We call we call those backwards, but that's fine. Yeah, it's you know, it's oh, appropriate if uh, the calling was the other way around, and now it is. AJ. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's call all the weight stats now. Uh, let's start with uh, driver wheelbase. This. <laughs> driver wheelbase. Driver wheel. Sixteen point eight three. Four. Four. Oh no! Four. Assault of four. the fours. I've seen this before. <laughs> yes, this is a yeah. It's a it's a tiny little O four O. What do you think it's gonna be? I couldn't have foresaw this. Engine wheelbase. Twenty five and a half. Four. Okay, twenty five and a half against four. It is now uh, sixteen to sixteen. Uh, ratio of driving wheelbase to engine. Um, not one. <laughs> Zero point six six. One. One. Okay, seventeen, sixteen. AJ's taking oh, the lead. You, you you never got this tip. Oh well. Uh overall wheelbase. Overall wheelbase. Huh. Fifty six and a quarter. Four. Wow, really? Important yeah, that's for, not actually it's tender. Yeah, important for all to know this is just a tank engine. The tender is fake. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that tender was not I think yeah. The stats, I think, are based on its original service, and that's a photo of it currently. Yeah. And that tender isn't hooked up to anything. They probably just put spare wood in it. I think um, it's just a rider car. It? Possibly that, too. Uh, let's see. Um, Weight on drivers. Weight on drivers. We got for that. We got 192,800 pounds. Uh, 22,000 pounds. All right. Uh, oh, okay. 19 to 16. Engine weight. 219,000 pounds. 22,000 pounds. All right. Tender loaded weight. 124,000 pounds. Zero. Not oh, wow, really? <laughs> as established. Um. Let's make sure I go through all. Oh, a uh, factor of adhesion. 4.59. <laughs> 4.04. 4. That is outrageously good yeah. for a little over yeah. row. It's the, it's the little engine that could. I, it's also is pretty bad for consolidation. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to mention that. It's just not great. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's do let's do the weird one. Uh, this one might lose, but actually, mm, where are we at? Oh, I only need two more for another block, right? That's yeah. true. Can I milk two more out of this? Okay, um... Mm. Does this one still work? Personally, I can, no. I can think of at least one more. I know one that was surprisingly good that I, I'm not I'm not 100% sure I'm going to really get. Someone needs to bring one of the two-foot gauge, like, ingot locomotives to one of these. Mm -hmm. Pull that one, pull that one, pull that one. No, but maybe... Almost out of time. Ah, uh, uh, okay, uh, boiler pressure. Boiler pressure, okay. Boiler. Hmm. 180. 
Two hundred. Wow. You okay. still got it. Two hundred. Yeah, I, I a lot. Beat, um, sounds beat unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, I beat uh, Milky with boiler pressure in Hillcrest before. Man, can yeah, I so... not wait for the Milky versus Brian match? Anyway. Um. Let's see. Um, can I call that one? That's the one I might be able to call, but I don't want to. Uh, it worked before, but I don't think it'll work again. So, what's that? Oh, minimum weight of rail. There's one. Oh, 80 pounds. 18 pounds. 18. Yeah, uh, I forgot about that one. I was like, there's, there's another weight stat I can call. I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, there it is. Uh, 40 yeah. <laughs> uh, stats called. More markers are on the board. Okay. Um, let's see, where are we at? You know, I'm just going to do the safe thing. Anybody use a marker to swap? Swap two? Selkirk. The Selkirk. Yeah, no, Guess what? Back it's in, uh... back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 24 it's... to uh... 16. Far from an insurmountable lead, but uh, Selkirk is back in action against uh, poor little 124. What is your right, stack call, AJ? Uh, uh, I'm going to start with year. Year. Year? 1915. 1930. Wait, no, it's later than that. Later than that. 19 something. It's 1949. It's not... It says so on your phone. 49. Uh, oh, it does say my photo, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. 25. The stack page against... says 38, but that's the technically the B's. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Not the bees. Not the bees. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go with go down to more stuff. Oh, sorry. Attractive effort. Attractive effort. Attractive effort. Uh, that would be a whole. I've actually got to look at that one. <laughs> Forty-one thousand nine hundred sixty-six. Seventy-six thousand nine hundred five. Okay. Twenty-six sixteen. AJ. Uh, booster effort. Uh, if you get the brakeman down and push it, <laughs> you put your feet out like would... you're driving a or like you're riding a bike. Yeah, it's like the Flintstones car. Yeah, there yeah. You go. yeah, no, don't have one. Yeah, uh, twelve thousand. Okay. Article factor adhesion. So I've got to skip down to. Mm, this is gonna be a tighter one. Uh, firebox area. I'm going to block with the N75. Okay. No. Blocking okay. with the N75 means what is your firebox area? 484 square feet. 412. There it is! What? The, Four, why? <laughs> the hunch was correct. All right, let me uh, clear the board really quick. That was uh, 14 stats called. And uh, if I mark this down... I'm oh, sorry, no, wait. Is that 14 or 15? It was 15 stats called, because I didn't mark firebox area yet. Firebox area is now called. And uh, there are four markers used, so that'll clear up the big red button. Oh, no, sorry. There were 14. There were 14. I don't know. I'm on, I'm on drugs. Um, <laughs> actually, no, I'm not. I wish I was on drugs. I didn't take any day cool before this. Uh, oh, no. Mopak, uh, you are now calling against the T1C with a almost clear board. Almost. Almost. All right, let's go number, numbering class. Five. No, Ooh, 25. Okay. Okay. Do you go straight for numbering class on, twice in a row? It feels like a gamble. Mm, I mean, there's a lot of Mopak things. <laughs> That's true. Although, you know, you do have what's effectively a pure opponent here. I would tread lightly no matter what. Yeah, I feel I feel like a number in class with all Mopac is something I can win unless it's... Yeah. Well, I'd love to see this lineup against uh, Benders. Would have been an interesting... Would have been an interesting Sorry. one. Let's go number build. Five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Pack. Mm -mm. Oh, the board's clear. Yeah, driver diameter. Oh, driver diameter is sixty-three inches. 
Ah, 75 inches. Okay, 22, 27. Go. Oh, yeah, let's go sub firebox for great area. Sub firebox. Great area. 151,472. 156,090. That one's memorable. 2127. We're still effectively in the first quarter here, and it has. We've had a few memorable calls already. I'm liking the way this is turning out because I figured it was either going to be a very contentious match or just a slaughter. I feel like no matter what I call, it's a gamble. Possibly. Roll the it's dice. either a gamble or an outright loss. <laughs> e. What'd you say? You know what, we balling around here. Let's go driver, or driver wheelbase. Driver wheelbase. I was thinking about that one myself. AJ. Driver wheelbase, 22. Oh, okay, 19 and a half. Okay, ah. 22, 27. Yeah, that okay. buys you another 60 seconds to think. It does, it does. Let's go. <laughs> e. Engine wheelbase. 46. 45.17. Oh. Okay, 2327. Oh. I hate this. <laughs> this is... It's not even like that uh, you're trying to pluck the usable ones out. It's that nothing, nothing seems easy. Nothing is usable. I wonder. Now... Actually, tender fuel capacity. I was just about to say. Now, hold on a second. Tender fuel capacity, AJ. Uh, in liters, well, 1,920. Mopak, go ahead and say yours. 20 tons of coal. AJ. Do you have anything that's fired by coal? Yeah. Switch to it. Uh, okay, I'm going to make a gamble here. Like a big, fat gamble. <laughs> okay, am I going to make a gamble? So, <laughs> I'm just going to go back and like edit my little speech from earlier to now instead of then. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, then, then, it'll, then it'll make me seem way smarter. And like uh, someone who understands uh, the game that I designed. Screw it. We are going to to Robinson. Oh no, sorry, you can't see that word on there. What? Uh, what the the U one A. No, the U one A. Okay, I was. It seemed like the <laughs> obvious answer to me, and then you said that, and I just went, "Huh? Yeah, I guess that's the U one A." It's called the Robinson on the stat page. It's U one A slash U one B Robinson. Okay. Well, um, let's let's meet the Robinson. Robinson. What is your tender fuel capacity? Oh no, seventeen. Yeah, twenty. All right, uh, twenty-four to twenty-seven. I don't have I don't have anything that actually would have beat that. I don't think. No, I mean I don't think you did either, which is why I felt like it was a good play. Okay. All righty, let's go with let's go high pressure cylinders now. Ooh, um, uh, now I'm stuck on this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, twenty-six by thirty. Oh, 28 by 30. Okay. Oh, darn it. 25, that's, I think that's actually my highest high pressure, too. 25, 27. More pack? Let's go tractive effort. Tractive effort. <laughs> 49,589. Uh, 66,640. Okay, 26, 27. For that. Some people are going to say, like, oh, it's so cheesy that it doesn't count when you have fuel. You should make, like, a conversion factor, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, and then there's going to be a subset of people that I agree with that's like, the game has this really interesting, sometimes possible loophole to get out of a really bad situation. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Yeah. <laughs> I like this feature. Let's go boiler pressure. Uh, boiler pressure, 210 PSI. 250 PSI. Okay, 27-27. We have a tie again. Right, let's go Robert Le Mason as power count. Mm. Uh, 14,022. 
22,075. At 2827. If you can't tell for a mountain class, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> it's, I would love to see this against some other, like, peer opponents. Wasn't this thing getting thrashed by 1522? Yeah, like, I put it against yeah. something that was really close to a mountain clash, and yeah. I just got thrown into the lake. It's... This is listen. In the future, this would be a great locomotive to use specifically for sacrifices. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah, that's why I'm sad the yeah. rules didn't come in. Yeah. And next time, Go with hey, the board's clear, isn't it? Uh, oh, it, it is. Was okay. a little while ago. Oh, oh, never mind. It is. Anyways, let's go with great area. Great area. Great area. Uh, sixty-six point seven seven. Eighty-eight point three. Wow. Twenty-nine twenty-seven. Go with evaporative heating surface. Uh, 4,849. 4,839. Oh, wow. Yeah, the scoreboard and the the stats are in Mopac's favor. Sorry, the momentum and the stats are in Mopac's favor. I just don't feel like the scoreboard is very much. Yeah, let's go superheating surface. 810. 1938. Okay. 31.27. Now let's go same as above, but super heater. Five plus super. Uh, 16,405. 28,477. 32.27. Let's go power L1. 17,921. 36,104. Okay, uh, we have more markers on the board, 60 points total. Uh, I do wonder can if Can I this... swap now? Uh, you can if you want. Yeah, I'm swapping. Two? Uh, let's see, you have that one. I'm going to have to, I'm just going to keep going back to Selkirk right now. Okay, hop back to Selkirk. Uh, it's like Ford all over here. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not as scary, but still. Okay, so uh, it's thirty three twenty seven. Mopac, you're calling. AJ is uh, back in the Selkirk, and you're back with the same conundrum, just uh, a few points at a few points later. But but there's some power stats off the board, so <laughs> yeah. it does make your it does make it a little less dangerous for you. Mm, let's go. But you do still need to call something. You need to call stuff. Let's go tender water capacity. Tender water capacity. Uh, 14,400 gallons. Okay. 17,250 gallons. Okay. That's uh, another point in favor of Mopac. And it's funny because once again, I thought about an interesting play that may or may not have worked. Uh, <laughs> now I'm thinking about how to cheese my own game. That's never good. <laughs> it's research it's more features <laughs> yeah really this entire first uh season has been a series of experiments and a greater understanding of this thing that i've created because the matches were so long or are, are so long and involve so few people it's it was impossible to gather enough data on how this worked before we did a full slate of it like this mm-hmm <laughs> Um, anyway, mm -hmm. Mopac. Oh, I got Valve Gear. Valve Gear. Wally. Wally. AJ, would you like to swap to another locomotive to attempt to break the tie? Um, hmm. No. No. Uh, Mopac, you must swap to another locomotive to attempt to break the tie. What'll it be? Go with the C63. Back to your Baker's Dozen. Uh,. That is a Baker locomotive, is that right? Yes, that is indeed Baker. Okay, against the Wally of the T1C gives you another point. It's 35 to 27. Now you're calling with the C63. All right, let's go. Let's immediately go for what's been called. Actually, let's do ET's weight computation. ET's mm. weight computation. I love say. Oh, do you? That's always <laughs> good. I wrote it in my notes with all my um, uh, style points. Yeah, for those uh, playing or watching oh. or you know fiddling along at home, 
There is a downloadable version of the stat sheet calculator on our website that will calculate all of these weird things for you. Anyway. It's also important because uh, Selkirk has the funny number. 0.69. Nice. Mopak, do you have yours? My number's funnier. It's 0.88. 0.88. When this thing hits 0.88 miles an hour, you're going to see 36 to 27. Mopak. All right, let's go. Let's go overall wheelbase. All right. Eighty-seven point four two. Fifty-six point two five. All right. Thirty-seven to twenty-seven. All right, let's go weight on drivers. Uh, three hundred and ten thousand. One hundred ninety-two thousand and eight hundred. Back. Go engine weight. Mm -hmm. 447,000. Oh, I lost it. There it is. 219,000. 219,000. Mm -hmm. Hang on just one second. Are you making cookies? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> All right. 39 to 27. <laughs> Just hate when people start making cookies in Logo Dome. Go. Oh yeah, total engine and tender wit. I I can't. Gloria's yelling something and I can't hear it because of my headphones. Seven hundred and thirty-one thousand. Three hundred and forty-three thousand. What the stat was that? Total locomotive weight. Yeah. Yeah. Or okay. Total engine and tender uh, weight. Yeah. 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 Same, total same weight. Uh, Rose made another name. <laughs> Hang on one second. Yes, baby. You're yelling at me for making cookies like you're not going to eat them with me as well. I'm not yelling at you for making cookies. I was just asking if you were. I am. I know. Have fun. Love you. Anyway. Alright, let's continue. Uh, Anyways. Mopac 4227. Go tender loaded weight. Tender loaded weight. Mmm... -hmm. 284,000. 124,000. All right, 4127. A lead that looks comfortable, but we've seen many, many comebacks of greater than this. I think I've done that. I did that the first round. <laughs> yeah, I we've seen comebacks of 20, 25. We even had a match that I think was 30 down in one direction and came back to be even before the end. Uh, this was... this is a, a game type where it can take, you know, one or two bad calls to lose you 30 points. Could be how it is. It's the equivalent of throwing Still a minimum weight of rail. Uh, yes. Minimum weight minimum of rail. Minimum weight of rail? 103. Yeah. 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Yeah. Right, 4227. Alright, let's... I also do think, especially if you win this Mopac, this will, uh, I, I'm hoping this creates a sort of discussion about when planning the lineup uh, about what fuel types your locomotives have. Just just <laughs> because. Mm -hmm. The same way that you yeah. think about your valve gear and your, uh, you know, builder. Anyway, uh, carry on, Mopac. Let's go wheelbase ratio. Wheelbase ratio. Um, 0 0.48. 0 0.66. 0 0.66. 43... 27. Okay. Time to put on my gambling pants. Oh boy. <laughs> I like that. I don't, but I'm gonna suffer through it anyways. <laughs> Let's go tubes. Tubes. Uh, 72 at 2.25. 220 at 2 inches. Okay. Hopefully you won't that have was... to gamble for long. Well, I won't say hopefully. <laughs> the gambling only lasts until you lose. Yeah, but well then you just get your knees cast broken and take an 86 miles out of town. <laughs> Suspiciously specific. <sighs> Let's go. What's it gonna? What's it gonna be? Forty-four twenty-seven. Twenty-eight uh, stats off the board. Hmm. 
Let's go with. Let's go with flues. 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 196, 3.35. Ah, 28 at 5.375. Sorry, did you say 3.35? 3. 3.375. 3. No, not you. AJ. Oh, I said 3.5. Okay, okay. If I, I said 3.35, I meant 3.5. Okay, I was going to say that's small, uh, but uh, it does go to the T1C here. 28 points yeah. against 44. And th now what? I think it's funny. One of the first things I was taught is uh, if the, the flues number will always be the opposite of the tubes number. <laughs> and you called both of them in a row. Yeah, I don't. There was really not much I can uh, do. I mean, Speaking I've of seen plenty of. I've seen plenty of events where locomotives win tubes and flues against a relatively pure competitor. But yeah, it is. It is one of those things that can flip the script. That there's no real rhyme or reason for the size of flues and tubes something is given. Yeah. Uh, speaking of flues and tubes, what's their length? Length. Short. <laughs> Oh, what is it? There, there it is, 15 feet. 20.91 feet. Don't worry, Mopac, I hear it's how you use it. AJ? <laughs> uh, 24. Okay. Oh, call again. Um, Let's see, what do we What do we have last? Not a ton. Ten things on oh, the I board. Can call, I can call factor of adhesion. You can. You could, you could. It's it's 5.59. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, What? Or not, oh, I'm sorry, 4.59. Okay. okay that's, a, that's a little better. Okay. I was going to okay. say, wow, it's gotten yeah. a lot worse than 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 4.03. It's slowly... I'm trying it's, to figure out why everyone was shocked. <laughs> it's losing pressure as the game goes on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what, what boiler explosions? Uh, booster. Booster. Don't have one. All right, 12,000. Three point. I'll take it. Take the free point. Thirty-one to forty-four. <clears throat> um. Oh, uh, uh, year. 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 Nineteen fifteen. Nineteen forty-nine. Forty-nine. Yes, forty-nine. Okay. Thirty-two forty-four. Uh. Oh my God. Uh. Fascinating. Fascinating game, as always. Let's go with Power MT. Power MT, you say? Yeah. Four hundred and thirty. Oh yeah, four hundred thirty-three point eight eight. One thousand four hundred eighty-six point eight. <laughs> I mean, that's outrageously good, and that's outrageously bad. Maybe not outrageously. It's just, you know, disappointing, perhaps. AJ. Uh, uh oh. I only got there is actually like only two things I could safely call left. Perhaps. I say safely, there's only two things I could call left that actually to gamble. <laughs> Thirty four <laughs> out um, of forty things called. Yeah. Let's go with combined heating surface. Combined heating surface. You say that like you're not sure about it, like it's not a consolidation. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> small engine to small. We got, yeah, yeah, I'm on the right one. 2,770. Okay, 7,086. A consolidation is the name for a 280 wheel arrangement. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Uh, 3444. AJ. Uh, let's go with a backward feeding surface. Backward uh, feeding Over cylinder volume. By cylinder volume. Oh, over cylinder, yeah. 176.32. Uh, 278. <laughs> That's a not a great power. Right. Not, not a great look for the consolidation at any rate. Uh, no, 4435. AJ? Okay. Um, this is the last. Uh, mm, mm. I actually, like, I have nothing else to call physically except for one thing. Two things. And one of them. I don't know if I'll win, and one of them I don't think I'll win. All right. Uh, Fortune builder. The gold. Builder? Ugh. Shops. It's shops? Sedalia shops, to be specific. Oh, but... thank God. <laughs> yeah. 
What are you, Montreal AJ? Montreal Locomotive Works. Montreal Locomotive Works. Hey, look, an actual builder. Uh, that makes yeah. 80 <laughs> points. We have more markers on the board. And I'm going to use one. What are you going to do? Swap to Chinook. Swap to Chinook. Resting on your laurels. And by laurels, I mean beer. Chinook, uh, yeah. Mark beer, that. Beer. Put that. Set that. And the giant warning goes away. You are now calling with the Chinook against yep. 124. What is your quest? And to start with the funny one. Loco base ID. Oh, God. Hmm. It's high. <laughs> Bottom high. It's, oh, yeah. 77.47. 113. Well, yeah. on the bright side, Mopac, it's still only four digits, and it's not 113. AJ? <laughs> 113 is the funny number. Uh, let's go your bill. You know, I'm going to block, actually, yeah. With? The N75. Block with the N75 on year built. What year was the N75 built? 1940. 1940. What? what about the Chinook? 1936. Okay. And okay. we're... Back in command for Mopac, 45-37. I, like I, was, I was really hoping this was a weird product of the 30s. <laughs> Turns out you were right. Cool. <coughs> <coughs> that was, that was back in the 30s when cool. they were still crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 trust me, uh, CP never stopped being crazy. All right, Mopac, what's your stat call? Go oh, high pressure cylinders. High pressure cylinders. We did this one already, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, 17 and a quarter by 28. 28 by 30. 28 yeah. by 30. Yeah, uh, this no arrangement math. wasn't done because you don't have to do math for that one. 46, right. 37, <laughs> Mopac. Attractive effort. Attractive effort. Uh, 26,557. 66,640. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. not sure I ever internalized how disappointing the Chinook is in the traction department. And it makes total sense, but I don't know why it just never registered mm -hmm. to me. Mopac? It wasn't supposed to be strong. It oh. only ever carried four, oh. four passenger trains at a time. That's a speedy Four, passenger, four <laughs> passenger cars. Uh, let's go factor of adhesion. Factor of adhesion. Uh, uh, 4.56. Oof, yeah. 4.19. 4.19. 4837. Alright, what to go with now? Oh, yeah, let's go tender fuel capacity. Tender fuel capacity. Uh, 12 tons. 20 tons. Alright, yeah. 4937. Tender water capacity. Uh, 8400 gallons. 17,250 gallons. Yeah. All right. 5237. Right. What we got? We got what we got. What we got. Got number in class. Five. 25. Actually, I don't want to mess with that just yet. <laughs> or no, I'll do it anyways. Number built. Five. 25. Anyways. Take the points when you can get the points. Yeah. <laughs> 5237, no, Mopac. Something, something big brain plays. Yeah. Let's no, go firebox area. 232. 484. Sometimes big brain plays just aren't all they're cracked up to be. <laughs> no. 5337, Mopac. Sometimes your brain just gets so big that it explodes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go great area. Uh, 55.6. 88.3. 3. All right. Oh, let's go blue tube length. Blue tube length. Uh, 18.9. 21. All right, oh, 55. Oh. A lot of blue tube length. <laughs> It is. It is. Yeah. They actually oh, wait, spiral. My bad. Canadian. I forgot. 
they wouldn't shock me. <laughs> Great ways to... Unless they actually do. No, I, I don't think they do. I don't know who... I don't... No. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Pro tip, don't Go do that. Go repeating surface. A fabric defeating surface? Uh, yeah. where is that? 2,833. 4,839. 56, 37. We'll pack. Yeah, super heating surface. Alright. Um, uh, 1,100. Oh, okay. 1938. 1938, 57, 37. All right, let's go combined heating surface. 3,933. 6,777. 58, 37. Let's go. Same as above, but sub firebox. Uh, 89,088. 156090. Okay, 5937. Uh, Jumping straight to that one, huh? Still scared? The Selkirk can't hurt you right now. This, <laughs> not for four more points of okay. game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, gee, I hope. I, I, I sure hope it doesn't come back. I'm sure you'll never see it again this game. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Just never. It, it will never come up again. Nope, never. Never. Go. Let's go, Robert Limasana's power comp. Uh, sixteen thousand six hundred eighty. Okay, yeah, twenty-two thousand seventy-five. Right, sixty thirty-seven. Same as above, but superheater percentage. Twenty-one thousand three hundred fifty. Twenty-eight thousand. Yeah, twenty-eight thousand four hundred seventy-seven. Sixty-one thirty-seven. Go. Ninety-eight points of the board. Oh, yeah, wheelbase ratio. Wheelbase ratio. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, 1,200. Where, where is that number? Uh, 0. 0.21. 0. 0.43. Okay, like 6,237. Let's do ET's weight computation. Uh, that one I also have to say. All right. Do you remember yours? That Mopac? one I actually don't. All right, go no, do math do really math quick. Math. AJ, what is yours? 0. 0.46. 0. 0.46. Yeah, I remember it being, uh, well, disappointing, but not spectacularly so. It's well, not it as... makes sense for a 444. Four, four. Yeah, it's not as bad as your wheelbase ratio, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 0. 0.62. 0.62, and there's another point for you. 6337. 100 points. Twa. More markers. Okay. <laughs> for you, Selkirk. Alright, Selkirk it is. Clear board. Uh, 2102 versus the Selkirk. Let me just, uh, 20 stats called right here. Clear this. 8 markers used. Mopak, you are still calling, but, uh, Unbelievably, somehow Palpatine returned. Uh, yeah. the, what? The Selkirk's back. Yeah. Call, 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 call it, call it, or it's your funny FNAF joke here. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> I always come back. Mopak? Mm, let's go number built. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> 25. Right. Uh, Number in class. 6437. 5. 25. Opac? Uh, driver wheelbase. Driver wheelbase. Uh, 22. A 19 and a half. Alright. Oh, shoot. Engine wheelbase. 46. 45.17. Mm-hmm. 6737. Go tender water capacity. Here we are, kid. Uh, 14,400. 17,250. 
Yeah. I am impressed that you've managed right. to get and keep control of this game, Opac. I think the four swaps in a row from AJ are sort of indicative of something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> uh, let's go driver diameter. Driver diameter, that's uh, uh, 63. 75. Yeah. Alright. 69, 37. Let's other ones I won. Firebox box area. 412. 484. Alright, 70. Alright. Same as above, but sub firebox. 151,472. 156.09. Yeah. 7137. Those points that were so important at the beginning of the game are still, still ringing true. And that's kind right. of, uh, I mean, it's not super surprising, but it is amazing that it's so relatively few that they are memorable. And Mopak is still winning. Mm. Winning by quite a margin at this point, in fact, I'm... I, I don't like that. I'm impressed, as a matter of fact. I'll admit this isn't where I had my money, but here we are. Okay. I wouldn't admit this isn't where I had my money either. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had no idea what I was going to do with this. <laughs> Should I? Is there any more? Mm, more. This, that, or the other. So we're going to do... Funny and go tender fuel capacity. Tender fuel capacity. Um. You gotta tender switch to capacity. something. Oh, is this not a. Oh, yeah, you're... there's coal in the photo. Yeah, there's coal over there. Uh, I don't wanna do that. Can I just lose? Can I just let him take the point? Uh, no, you do need to swap to something. Oh, all of them, all of them are terrible. I, have no I, I, I apologize for all of your other options being <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I guess let's go Jubilee. 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 Back to the Chinook. That's... Okay. Um, what is the coal capacity of the Chinook? Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, where is it? Fender fuel capacity... 12. 12. Against? 20. 20, yeah. alright. 72, 37. And Mopak still has two markers that... in his pocket, which makes this even more ridiculous. Yeah. You know, in all honesty, I've thought about killing the Selkirk at least twice, but it makes me so uncomfortable <laughs> to try to kill the Selkirk. I think uh, being able to have the Selkirk there that AJ keeps jumping to and then getting booted off of is, is uh, helping you more than it's hurting you. Yeah, that is true. Anyways, let's go high pressure cylinders. Uh, 17.25 by 28. 28 by 30. Yeah. Alright, 73.37. Alright, now we can do tractive effort. Uh, where is that? It looks right at it. 26,557. 66,640. Alright. 7437. Alright, let's go. Factor of adhesion. 4.56. 4.19. Alright, 75. Alright, let's go with. Oh, yeah, year. Uh, 1936. 1940. Alright. Well pack. Alright, let's go. On 113 points called. Oof. Yeah, you had to get at me oh, some way, to... didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> 113. We just gotta stop the game right here. <laughs> stop the count. No, don't stop, stop the, the count. count. <laughs> Do Perfect. not stop the count. <laughs> uh, let's go wheelbase ratio. Wheelbase. None. Point two one. Point four three. Well, both of you rounded down as zero. Uh, yeah. 
Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do ET's bike comp again. <laughs> uh, point, uh, small. This is, uh, I think, point four six. Yeah, point four six. And if point I remember right, two. yeah, point six two. All right, seventy eight thirty seven. All right, let's go great area. Great area. Come oh, on, mess something up. <laughs> Fifty five point six. Eighty eight point three. Seventy nine thirty seven. Every time I think of that, I think of the local rock station. <laughs> All I hear is KYZ 88.3. I mean, I, I'm i not saying anything is uh, impossible, but it does look like Mopac's just going to walk this one to the end zone. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> well, I wish you luck in saying something about it. In fact, I would like you to do that. Let's go evaporative heating surface. Uh, 2,833. Oh, shoot, I forgot this. Hold on. Anyways, yeah. 4,839. The thing is, you, uh, haven't been calling in quite some time. You haven't put yourself in the situation to steal the ball back. Well, yeah, I haven't had a chance to steal the ball back. <laughs> well, Mopac's getting easy resets off of your swaps. Yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, but it's been nice. Yeah, yeah, superheating surface. Superheating surface. 1,100. 1938. Now, I'm not sure what exactly is going to be said, because as established, I don't know how my game works. Uh, but I'm <laughs> certain that Hemlock will have something to say about this game. Uh, I think to, to you in a back this. room, AJ. Yeah. <laughs> There's good. If I don't come the out of right you after. know you know who to, you know who to blame. Well, no, I I just uh, I just figure that when I see you again in the uh, the losers bracket, you will have a more refined strategy. Or yeah, I had a refined <laughs> strategy. It's just uh, <laughs> it was beat real quick. Just... Hem's gonna. Have one of those long car rides home after a bad game. Well, <laughs> yeah. pack. Anyways, uh, combined heating surface. Combined heating surface. Oh, I'm on. Uh, 3,933. 6,777. Okay, 8,237. And let's see. Let's see if I remember things I've won. Well, uh, Lamus Dana's power comp. Yeah. 60,680. Okay, yeah, 22,075. 8337. Look Same at that, more markers. What'd you say, Mopak? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. Was not in the middle of calling a stat. <laughs> okay, if you Where? say so. I. But you will have to call a stat at some point. I will. I will, just or not at the moment. <laughs> something, anyway. You do have three markers. Two. But you do have a timer. I do. Go tubes. Tubes. Uh, 47 by two and a quarter. Oh, 50 by two and a quarter. Whew. Wow. Wow. It was really close. <laughs> well, AJ was asking you to screw something up. I almost did. 84.37. OPEC. Alright, let's go... What else? I... Flu tube length. Flu tube length. 18.9. 21. Yeah. Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong one. I filled in flues and not flu tube length. 85, 37. Right, let's go flues. Uh, 120 by 3.5. 
193 at 3.5. Holy frick. <laughs> Wide <a> boiler. <laughs> 8637 OPEC. Let's go with I don't think a swap would reset or a marker would reset the board, would it? A marker would not reset the board at this time, I don't think. Well let's see. One, two, three, four, no, five, six, nine, seven, eight. No. No, okay. <laughs> no, we are going to swap to 635. Let's swap to 635. Stims. Okay. Stims. Um, what are you going to do with 635 against Shaduk here? I'm going to call Builder. Builder, eh? What's uh, <laughs> Shaduk's Builder? Uh, much how locomotive works. Okay. This too is a Baldwin. Okay, there's the uh, Baldwin point eighty-seven thirty-seven Mopac. So overall wheelbase. Overall wheelbase. Oh. AJ. Uh, I I I know what I. What'd you say? What? I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Go on. I, what? I'm going to... Uh, that. I want to use a marker, but that resets the board, and that's terrible. I... Well, you've got to make a call. Okay. Would you say overall wheelbase? Overall wheelbase was the question. Yep. Uh, where is that? 70.73. Mopac? Oh, you... 70.73, you said? Yeah. That would be... 48.47. Okay, wow. Uh, 8837. Well pack. Let's go with. Hmm. What do I want to do? 12 Wait on drivers. From a win. Wait on drivers. Uh, where is that? Uh, 121,000. 90,000 pounds. Okay, I thought there was a chance there. I wasn't sure, but I thought there was a chance there that you weren't going to win that one. Mm. I don't know, this thing, it's quirky. It, yeah. This has got its own little quirks. Let's go engine weight. Mm, 263,000. 115,000. Okay, 9037. Uh, has tender loaded weight been called? It is not tender loaded weight. Tender loaded weight. 198,500. 78,000 pounds. Okay, 9137. Total engine and tender weight. 461,500. 193,000 pounds. Alright, 92.37. Mm, minimum weight of rail. I'd like to use a block. Two? Hillcrest. Hillcrest 101. Uh, let me clear this up really quick. That's going to be 29 stats off the board. And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to mark this. And I'm going to say that uh, after 10 markers called, we've got Hillcrest back in the game. What is the minimum weight of rail of Hillcrest 101? 18 yards per or feet. Yeah, Ooh. pounds per yard. 18, 18 pounds per yard. Mopac. 18. Or not 18, but 50. 50, okay. <laughs> that would have been a startling coincidence and a very interesting tie. 38 to 29. <laughs> AJ, it's your first point in like half an hour. Yeah, I hate this. Okay. Now, now what? Driver wheelbase. Driver wheelbase. Yeah. Got nothing to really block with. But it'll be fine. Anyways, we got 11.5. Four. Four. Amazing. Wheelbase. 
Can you we mean? call this thing Little Four Aces? I, I'm just calling, gonna call it Little Four Feet. Mopac? That makes sense. What's your engine wheelbase? Oh yeah, eleven and a half feet. Four. Four. Uh, ratio of driving good overall. Point five two. One. All right. Overall wheelbase. Forty-eight point four seven. Four. Uh, weight on drivers. Ninety thousand pounds. Plus two thousand. Engine weight. One hundred fifteen thousand pounds. Plus two thousand pounds. Uh, tender loaded weight. Seventy eight thousand pounds. Zero. Total engine to tender weight. 193,000 pounds. 22,000 pounds. Uh, let's see, minimum weight of rail has been called already. Uh, boiler pressure. Now, 150 pounds. 200. All right. 4782. Factor uh, of adhesion. Hmm. I'll go for it, yeah. A uh, four point, yeah, four point nine seven. Four point oh four. Pretty good. Uh, forty eight ninety two. AJ, you've successfully prevented this from being the most lopsided match thus far. Yeah. Uh, and there are more markers on the board at one hundred and forty points. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Which one did I skip? Uh, call that one already, call that one already. Depending on the length of the video from here, I hope the audience is ready for the comeback of the ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, depending on the length of the video um, is the keyword. There. It's, it's either another ten minutes long or another hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, oh, hmm. Where are we at? Yeah, I'm just going to call for... I'm going to use a uh, swap. A swap too? Selkirk. Oh, wow. Who would have thought? Who could imagine... Uh, Ooh, what a thunk. All right, well, we have another swap. It's uh, not a board clear, but now we have the Selkirk no. against Stim's 635. This is what I want. <laughs> okay, now let's start down the... Uh, so we're against the tiny little thing there, and I don't want to... Ooh, let's see, where do we start? Oh, uh, attractive effort. Attractive effort. Attractive effort. Uh, we got... For attractive effort, we have 18,109 pounds. Oh. 76,905. Not more than the Jubilee, anyway. Uh, AJ? <laughs> uh, booster pounds. None. 12,000. Alright. Mm. The issue is, I know there's plenty of safe things to call against this locomotive, but I know you all have three markers in your pocket. That is very true. I do. <laughs> yeah, you need to I be looking that. at not what is safe to call against 635, but what is safe to call What's against safe to call? all of Here, Mopac's right? roster. Yeah. There's some I haven't even busted out yet. <laughs> there's, yeah, there are, yeah, there's a locomotive we haven't seen. And it's uh... the weirdest one here. Yeah. Okay. So this is relying on. Oh no. Uh, hello, hello. Oh Tyler, you're here. <laughs> I'm just popping up there. I'm surprised. I sh who, whoever you guys bet money against, they're going to be rich. Yeah. No. It's uh. It's been a. It's been an interesting evening thus far. But uh, like I just said, uh, we could be poised for the comeback of the century here, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. All I right. just need eight oh. points, man. Sadly, I don't have popcorn with me, but <laughs> the air popcorn yeah. is, is here in the spirit. Hold on, hold on. I have the gift for you. Give me one second. Oh, yes. Give me one is second. It the, the Michael Jackson popcorn gift? No, this one. Oh, is it my... oh. yeah. <laughs> is it yeah. Trailer Park Boys? I, I don't actually know what it's from. I just know Jason Momoa. <laughs> um, someone more cultured uh... than me will know. Panic, panic, panic. Oh, yeah, you need to pick something. Yeah, um... The only other thing I know is safe I already called. And that's what I got distracted when Tyler joined. I didn't turn the timer over. You should be dead, but you're not. What is it? Uh, 
Let's go with uh, panic, 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 panic. Power MT. Power MT. Power MT. Oh, that thanks, would Tyler. be. Yeah, three seventy-five. One thousand four hundred eighty-six. Okay, fifty-one ninety-two. Uh, power L one. Power L one. Yeah, it's gonna be five thousand one hundred nine. Forty-one thousand eight hundred thirteen. Um, let's go. Robert Lee Masana. Robert Lee Masana, you say? Yeah. <laughs> 3,555. 26,648. Alright. Uh, same as above plus superheater? Uh, that would. I think it's the same. Yeah, 3,555. 34,375. Uh, same as above, but sub firebox for Drake. Block with with yeah, the N seventy five. With the N seventy five, what is your same as above, but sub firebox for great? Yes, that would be one hundred fifty six thousand and ninety. One hundred fifty one thousand four hundred seventy two. All right, uh, we got a seventeen clear stats board. called, uh, and a clear board except for. That one, if you may mark I that. I forgot the X perks are interesting. Oh right, this is that. Yeah. I forgot about that. The what? The what? The X perks. These. these oh things. yeah. Did I not mark something? Uh, I I put it marked in before you cleared. Hold on. So just take one away Hold on. from. Hold on. Well, that was 18, and I put in 17. Did I, uh, at this point, I hadn't, I, I had missed a point for uh, AJ because I was daydreaming about changes to rests. Uh, let me mark that. Let me put this. Let me say that, and then Tyler, you can mark that again properly, yeah. and I will give the point to Mopak as he won that stat. All right, let's go driver diameter. Uh, of course you go driver diameter. 63. 75. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go with... What was it? Oh, yeah, ten. Yeah, tender... F no, yeah, tender water capacity. <laughs> 14,400. 17,250. Oh, yeah, we got a clear board, don't we? Uh, we do. Number in class. Five. 25. Number built. Five. 25. What else? All right, 97 to 54. What else should I win on? Oh, yeah, driver wheelbase. Driver wheelbase. Um... 22. Uh, what was it again? Oh, yeah, 19 and a half. And then engine wheelbase. 46. 45.17. And then... You should, you should, screw, up. You should screw up your last one and let me have a uh, 46 uh, a point, point streak. Run. Yeah. That, that that would that would be kind of funny. I'm to about it later. Also, I really come from behind one. victory. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the Atlanta Falcons against the New England Patriots. Yeah. yeah. No timeouts <laughs> in the morning. I, I think timeout. it's I think it's time to count out touchdown Tom, and by touchdown Tom, I mean the Selkirk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go firebox area. Firebox area. 412. 484. 484 takes it. Mopak, congratulations. You will be moving on to face the winner of Israel versus Kaiserin, which unfortunately I cannot tell you who that is right now, but you will find out very shortly. Um, I'm nervous. As for AJ, <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah, well, I appreciate you both playing. I think you both played relatively well. AJ, I think you rested on your laurels a little too much with the Selkirk. 
I think he kept jumping oh, back to it and not prioritizing getting the, you know, becoming the calling contestant again, getting the initiative again. And uh, that's what you should be doing with your markers, and I feel like that's what you're going to end up getting told later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the thing that's bopping around in my head here is, for the sake of comebacks, uh, a there, there's a thing in the game called a rest, which you can use if you're backed into a corner and uh, you're, like, you, you can't swap... Uh, but I've been trying to sort of write it out of the game because it just doesn't do much. And I think uh, putting it, allowing it when you're in the, when you're trailing and uh, calling might be something to think about. But I, like I said, I am trying to remove it from the game. It might end up making long games a little bit closer uh, because it'll allow you to keep your most powerful locomotive on hand uh through a uh, marker instead of having to swap away from it. But anyway, uh, with the way KOs, KOs are going to work, it's a little it's going to be a little different. But I think this game, I mean, this game probably would have been exactly the same under the new rules, which is interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I've thought about going for KOs, but like I got up to a point where I just didn't really want to. Yeah, no, I I don't think you needed it. I I or think didn't uh, have a need to. You had uh, AJ's Achilles heel on hand, tender fuel capacity. Yeah. Uh, and that is a really interesting... I mean, that... It didn't single-handedly decide the game, but it was such a contributing factor that I think it's it's really interesting that the type of fuel you're carrying, or really just any missing stat, uh, can be so detrimental. After uh, one of the more, after I think the most recent game with Matt, because Matt has a bunch of missing stats that have been flummoxing, uh, he mentioned like strategically having missing stats. I think this is proof <laughs> that if you have them on important locomotives, they are m much more of a detriment than uh, than something that will help you. And in this I was, case, I was really waiting for you to call axle loading. Fun fact, I actually don't have axle loading on any of my locomotives. Neither do I. None of my oh, locomotives perfect. have axle loading. So I kept on being called last game. It's like, no, you, you can't. Sorry. It's not yeah, a, that's why can't. I put an uncallable as a thing in the spreadsheet. I'm going to change one more thing in the spreadsheet, which is uh, it's going to check if the number of markers called is one more than the number of markers in K1. And it's going to say, like, reset next down here. Uh, so that you guys will know if the next marker you call is going to cause a reset without sitting and counting up to 10 or yeah. whatever. Uh, it'll just be a little little thing. I also want to put a little number here that counts down to the next marker, next marker drop. But anyway, um, thank you both for playing. Like I said, uh, Mopak, you're going to advance into the uh, what is effectively the final of the winner's bracket before moving on to the final final, the true finale, if you manage to get past your next competitor. And uh, AJ, you will be going to the loser's bracket where you will face either Bender, Mew, Horizon, or Bryson again, incidentally. Um, yeah. So we'll see how that shakes out. Honestly, I think your roster is sound, but you have faced two opponents previously that I don't think presented much of a challenge. Sort of like yes. uh, Kaiserin's first two matches. I think that the rosters have advantages but they have been hyped up is not really the word I'm looking for, but hyped up because of the uh, the situation with your opponents. And yeah. this was uh, this could have been, I think, a much closer, much more contested match. I think it could have gone either way. And instead, it was this landslide. Um, but That's, I think the swaps really killed you, AJ. Yeah, the swap, the swaps killed me. I'm still trying to figure out how I, how I should have taken, uh, got back into the calling seat, just because you managed to figure out every single one of my locus weaknesses, <laughs> so you never had a chance to screw up. <laughs> Again, I think if you'd hung yeah. on a little longer. Uh, Mopek would have run out of yeah. things to call that he could win. Uh, yeah. Or, or you hang on yeah. to that 
marker and you use it for a block, you know? Yeah. And well, the big the big issue was for me was that I don't think most of the most powerful pack engines, for that matter, I don't think would have had much to lose against uh, both uh, sixty fifteen and Chinook. Well, like it would have taken a long time for Chinook to have beaten. Well, I'll tell you what I what I think uh, would have been an opportunity if you had had a marker at a point and Mopac's call against you. Say Mopac calls uh, driver diameter as he did constantly you yeah. could beat him out with chinook yes uh yeah. and i don't know how big 60 15s are but that's beside the point that things a piece of garbage um <laughs> they're bigger but not not, not as big as you think. it's but, bigger it's yeah I, I did feel a lot more comfortable calling even when you had markers because you just kept swapping <laughs> yeah yeah you, you gave him a lot of rope and he used it but yeah that's the that's the game, that's the bracket, and uh, I will see you both in future games. Uh, AJ, your story is not over, unlike some folks that, that have been competing lately. Mm-hmm. And uh, I wish you the best of luck in your next uh, matches. I don't want to keep saying matches. In your next games, in your next whatevers. Uh, yeah. Tyler, uh... Yeah, we do owe some fictitious people money, I would imagine. <laughs> I, I owe myself money. You owe yourself money? Okay, we'll go buy something on the Japanese auction website. <laughs> I was waiting for you something, to say. Something I'll, re- something, something I'll retire on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> I.e. owes me, like, a good deal <laughs> on something. Actually, where's East betting odds when you look at those? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, this is this is stupidly useful and I don't know what I'll do with this information. Oh shoot, this Diagrams is a longer of formula than I thought. The Meiji era. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and clean up the spreadsheet. Uh I'm gonna organize you two into your next matches. Well, actually, uh AJ, you you won't be able to go into your next match yet because there are some preceding matches that need to take place. But, yeah. uh, Mopac, I will organize you into your match as soon as we wrap up here. And, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Buy trading cards, and, uh, we'll be back. This is going to air on the 15th, I think. So, uh, mm-hmm. keep an eye out for So the... happy you remember it's day in advance. Yeah. <laughs> the next match is on the, uh, 21st. Sayonara.